Hello everyone. So today we will discuss about the plant viral vectors. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, that why we use viruses as the vector for plant transformation? Because we know the viruses they can cause many diseases. So in order to cause the disease, they introduce their genetic material inside the plants. So what we do, we just modified the viral genome or you can say we just introduced our genes into the viral genomes and now these recombinant viruses, they are transferred to the plants. Do remember that the plant viruses, they do not integrate into the host genome. Now there are three groups of plant viruses or you can say the plant viral vectors. So first is the DNA viruses and second is RNA viruses. In case of DNA viruses, example include cauliflower mosaic virus and the Zemini virus, while in case of RNA, the example includes tobacco mosaic virus. Now let's discuss these viruses. So first DNA viruses. So example is cauliflower mosaic virus. So this virus is a double standard DNA virus with a genome of 8000 base pair and here the two regions that is the region 2 and 7 which are the open reading frames they are not required for the virus infections. So as we know these are non-essential so we can replace these ORF that is 2 and 7th ORF with our foreign genes. So here as we replace these ORS with desired gene, so we can say we can use this virus as a vector for the transformation of plants. Example of this include the gene of this CAMV virus was successfully replaced with a bacterial gene which encode the dihydrofolate reductase that provide the resistance to the methotrexate. Next is the Gemini virus. These are the single strand DNA viruses and the example include is wheat dwarf virus which has a genome of 2.6 to 2.8 kb. Here you can see in the diagram that it include V1, V2, C1, C2 cassettes and they code for some specific proteins like V2 code for the capsid protein V1 systematic involved in the systematic you can say spread and C1, C2 they are required for the replication. So here the code protein is not required for the infections. So this V2 section is not required. So what we can do in the in this right side diagram you can clearly see that we can replace this V2 with multiple cloning sites means we can introduce our foreign genes within this region because this V2 region is not essential. So we can just remove it and insert our foreign genes. So in that way this you can say these Gemini viruses they can be used as a vector. Next RNA viruses. So here the example include TMV virus that is tobacco mosaic virus and this TMV virus is a single standard RNA virus which has a genome of 6 three nine five bases only and it has four ORFs. Here in the diagram you can clearly see this contain 126 to 183 kilo Dalton replicase complex 30 kilo Dalton movement protein means this ORF code for the movement protein and 17.5 kilo Dalton ORF it code for the capsid protein. So here the foreign gene it can be inserted into three dash end of this movement protein and it is inserted in such a way that the native protein it drive the expression of the foreign gene means the uh, promoter already present will drive the expression of our foreign protein. So in this way we can use this tobacco mosaic virus also as a vector. So this is all about the plant virus vectors and their various example. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.